Hey you guys and welcome to my channel Midnight Munchies and More. I am your bathroom entertainment curator Cherise. <laughs> you guys, the Met Gala was yesterday and it was a wild ride so I actually want to do a little like review situation. Don't I look like somebody who's so into fashion and like the perfect person to be reviewing the fashion of the Met Gala 2023? Wait, oh, well, hold on first. This is, I just got, I don't know, I just got something random. I'm not trying anything crazy today. Well, a little, a little bit, a little bit. I made my own recipe. I don't know what I did. I got the, um, iced shake it, iced, iced oat milk, brown sugar, shake and espresso. But I got it with no brown sugar, syrup, and mocha powder, and no cinnamon. So I don't know why I did it that way. It just seems easier. Because sometimes I feel like when I order the regular iced shake and espressos, and then I try to do the oat milk, it's like, no, you have to pay more money. And I'm like, rude, but I had to pay more money from the mocha sauce. I don't know which one's cheaper. It's just a whole wild game out there. Anyways. Mmm. We need a little caffeine for our roasty dude all day. Hold on, let me see. Let me see if I can get a better... Maybe I can get a better Met Gala look for you guys. Maybe I should just, hold on, is this better? Is this better? Look, oh my God, this guy in this truck next to me is probably like, what the hell is going on? Look, you guys, it's so fancy. Look, it's, I'm just like, I should be at the Met Gala. I have so much fashion. Um, look, I have pearls. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at me. I'm totally... Am I Met Gala? Am I Met Gala yet? Wait, hold on. I know. Let me get a little bling. A little bling. My little purse. Okay. Are we ready to Met Gala together? <laughs> okay. So. Oh, now I can't do my thumbprint. Hold on. I have my old phone. Look at how tiny it is, by the way. Okay. So, I have my old phone. And I'm going to, I saved the pictures so I can remember what they look like. And then I'll put them up here if I can figure out how to work this phone. You guys, I don't remember how to work this phone anymore. How do you, like, unlock it? This video is just me trying to figure out how to use this freaking phone. Because there's no face ID. I don't remember. Do a thumbprint? Thumbprint. It was a thumbprint. It was a thumbprint, everybody. Okay, so we're going to start with. Um, what is her name? Anouk Yai? Yay? Yai? I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I, the first photo I saw was from, like, the waist up, and I was obsessed. Like, the glasses, and then, like, this, like, chandelier bonanza. But then I got to, but then I saw a full-length picture, and I got to the bottom, and I was like, I don't like the black on the bottom. I don't understand it. I feel like it doesn't match. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You know, before we get into this, which I already did already get into this, I also, I forgot to say the theme of the Met Gala, if you guys didn't know. So the theme of the Met Gala is Carl Lagerfeld, a life of beauty or something like that. So he died a few years back. He was like a um, designer for like, I think Valentino and like Fendi and Chanel. Chanel was a big one because I guess he like brought back Chanel like Chanel was kind of like struggling and then he like revamped it and made it like amaze balls. but anyways he's a piece of shit human being from my understanding when I was going through um when I was going through like oh what's the theme like blah 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 and hold on let me tell you so he um he's fatphobic he's misogynistic he's racist he put Claudia Schiffer in blackface and yellow face in 2010 he, for, during the Me Too movement, he said, don't become a model if you don't want your pants pulled down. Um, no. No. F this guy. F this guy. I don't know why we're doing this. I don't understand why this is the theme. Whatever. Not my place. I don't know. I didn't like it. I will say that I agree that he did a lot for the fashion industry right and that's great and we can you know honor the fact that like the fashion is great however comma and while we're why we're honoring him as a human being for the Met Gala 
I'm not really sure. There's like a kachillion different designers and a really old white man who is a piece of shit. I don't think is maybe one of them that we should have done. That's just me. Anyways, I digress. So I also thought this theme for the Met Gala was a little peculiar, not peculiar, but like kind of lame, I guess, because and then people are just wearing like Chanel and stuff, right? Like, so of course, like the fashion's cool, but like, I don't know. I liked when it was like camp and like some of those ones where it's just so vague that like you could do almost anything. I, I don't know. I just love that. So this is kind of like, mm, okay, you look nice. I don't know. But there were a lot of fire fashion outfits, right? Maybe that's why they did it. They're like, you people don't know. You stylists, you famous people don't know how to dress yourselves. Maybe we just should make it a little bit easier on you and do Carl. Lagerfeld. All right. Anyway, so Anukia, um likes the top, didn't like the bottom. And then we have Rihanna, Queen. She slayed. Mm. She slayed in this white with the flowers, roses, whatever. Um, and then like the when she took it off, and then like her belly bob, and she had it like laying like because the gloves. I think the gloves like went into the flowers and it was all one piece. I don't know, that looked really cool. ASAP, I don't know, I don't know, it was not great. I mean, it wasn't bad, but no, it was kind of bad. <laughs> didn't like the look, didn't match. Rihanna, um, kind of a letdown on that. Not, he like, he's serving like, <laughs> he's like, he's like a groomsman in like a Scottish wedding who was like, I'm not, I'm not wearing a kilt. I'm gonna wear my jeans under it or something. I don't know. Like that just what it's. I don't know. I don't like the vibes. Okay, so then we have. Oh my gosh, who do I have here? Oh, Thames. Okay, so now we have Thames. I loved this. The black, like, on top, and then the white. Great. The only thing I didn't like about it was the shoes. These like silver, um, toe show whatever peep toe. They're not peep toe because like the whole. I don't know. Whatever sandal heels whatever they're silver I, they don't match they don't match i don't understand i don't like what's going on there margot robbie st hated it hate it hate it i don't understand the stuff in the like, i don't know i don't understand the stuff in the middle it's boring it's not giving met gala it's giving like it's giving like i'm the popular girl in school and i want to look a little slutty for prom i don't know i don't like it not great okay now, bad body bitch, okay? So he's giving white. He's doing the roses. He's got the Rihanna vibes. But like, and this, cause I saw this suit just plain white by itself at first. And I, and I was like, okay, that looks pretty good. And then I saw this like thing, roses, flowers thing, and that was epic. But then he turned around and that whole back piece showing Beautiful. Love that. That's a 10 out of 10. Cardi. Cardi. Okay, so she had a couple outfits. I think she had, I think I saw two for the Met Gala and then like one for like after party maybe. Um, so this black one, obsessed with the like business up top, princess on the bottom. Iconic. The hair matches perfectly. The gloves. I feel like this is a lot. We're into like season of gloves. Um, this is beautiful. Now, the pink, the light pink with the, like, in the back, that's giving, like, Vegas Showgirl. That's giving, like, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> is that horrible? I don't know. I, it fits her body really well, the bodice part. I like that piece, but just the overall design of it. It's just very Showgirls. I mean, if that was the theme of Showgirls, I guess, but I don't know. I like the hair piece. I like the jewels. I think the accessories look great. I don't know. I just don't really like the design. And then I, and then she had this, um, oh my gosh, what is it called? Like houndstooth kind of design, like the pink and black. I'm not a super huge fan of it, but the like way that she's like posing and designing it and making it like Barbie-ish, I kind of am living for that. Apparently, Carl Lagerfeld uh, had a cat, is my understanding, because at least from what I've seen three, at least three people went as Carl Lagerfeld's cat, their interpretation of his cat. Now, okay, Jared Leto missed 
the mark, sweetie. This is not, like, that's just a costume. That's just a furry costume. Like, what is this? I mean, it's funny, but is it Megalum? I don't know. Now. Doja Cat. That looks pretty dope. I kind of like Doja Cat's. It's a very loose interpretation. I mean, some of the makeup was... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the makeup part, but it is... I don't know. It's done really well because it's so subtle compared to Lil Nas X, who's extra, who's extra AF, which, like, doesn't surprise me. His... Well, like, you know he gonna show out, right? Like, he gonna show out. But I don't know. I just... I didn't really like it. Like, he looks great. Like, his, his physique is incredible. I'm sure that took a lot of time and effort, but I don't know. That ain't it. I feel like Doja Cat did the best out of the three, and I don't know that I really like any of them because it's a cat. And I love cats. Listen, I love cats. This is hard to keep these up because my sweatshirt's in the way because, I'm, you know, this fashion I got going on, you guys. I don't know. I just wasn't a super fan of uh, of all the cats. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that was interesting. I have to pee so bad, though. And this, I can't. Whew, I have to pee so bad. I mean, little Nas, like, he out here. Okay. I, like, barely drank any coffee, and I already have to pee so bad. What is happening? Okay. Anne Hathaway. Um... Kind of love it. Kind of vibes. I was not sure at first. But I kind of love this. I like that it's like that kind of vintage, I don't know, Emily Gilmore vibe suit. Like that Chanel suit vibe, but into a dress. With the like peeps. I like that. That's beautiful. I think that's great. I think she slayed it. I think, I don't know. I think that's great. The shoes look great. Accessories are great. Her hair looks great. 10 out of 10. Now, Glenn Close. I think she slayed. Listen, that... I'm not like... I don't know. It's not something that I would wear. It's not... I don't know. It's like just ugly enough that I love it. Like the dust ruffle train thing. It's hideous. And I love every minute of it. I don't know why. I just I just love that. I think she killed it. I think that's great. And it actually matches her hair, which looks fantastic. Um, so besides Jared Lotto, uh, <laughs> a lot of the men killed it this time. I was pretty surprised. Although I guess not because it's that whole designer thing, right? Because if you're doing a designer, then you can just kind of wear like their vibe, right? So... Conan Gray loved this. The fan, the pearl, what is it, like, pearled fan? Oh, my gosh. This is fantastic. This is a look if I've ever seen it. From head to toe, beautiful. Very well done. Um, Bella Ramsey, also fantastic. Killing it. The Oh, my gosh. It's beautiful. It's almost kind of giving Wednesday Adams vibes, which is funny because Jenna Ortega... <sighs> so stunning. I love this look so much all down to the shoes. It's very much Wednesday Adams vibes, but like sophisticated and elegant. I don't know. I, this was a slay. That is all oh, this. Oh, beautiful. Mm, okay. So now we have Oh, Zendaya, sweetheart. It, she looks great. Listen, what is it? Her nails? Is that her nails? Her, like, nails go into the dress or the something? I don't know. That's kind of dope. I think it looks great. I think the silhouette looks great. I think she looks great. It's just, I don't know. It doesn't feel very Met Gala-y to me. Her and she actually looks very similar to um, Billie Eilish's look. Which, let me see if I can pull that real quick. Oh, here's some more of the men. Okay, sorry. I'm, like, so out of order. Yeah, it's very similar to Billie Eilish's look. Although, I almost think I like Billie's better. Um, because the, like, arm stockings and the, like, 
stockings and then this piece all match. I don't know. I think hers looks a lot better, but I also don't think hers is very, I don't know. I just, I don't think it looked great for the Mecca. I think it was just a kind of average red carpet vibes. Um, I think you should go a little more extra for the, um, Met Gala, but again, still stunning. Again, still designing designer Carl Lagerfeld. I don't know why I can't sell, remember to he would say Kyle. Um, Kardashians, uh, fine. I mean, <laughs> I love Kylie so much, but she just, I don't know, she's just out here in her own world. <laughs> this, she probably, her anxiety, probably, I don't know. Um, fire, we got the red, fantastic. I don't like the under part of the red. Um, I don't like that color. I don't know what that is. I, it should be just like white or, um, black or I don't know. Maybe it, the hue is different on film than in person, right? Um, Kendall, oh, fucking fire. Now this looks good. I feel like this is kind of like, I don't know. It's like, uh, maybe it's like a similar collection, but like the Billy Zendaya, um, Kendall collection seems kind of similar. Um, Kendall is a model. So hers looks fire. We got the butt cut out. The boots are just perfect. She looks 10 feet tall. That's incredible. It's, I really enjoyed that. Kim's, Kim's looks pretty good. Um, I don't hate it. It's very Kim Kardashian, right? All of these are very, the Kardashians, each one of their own styles. Um, I really like it. I like all the pearls and everything. But that bodice just doesn't, I don't know. I think it's like the hue too, maybe. I don't know, like it's cut off at the top. I don't know. I don't really like that. But I really do like the draping of all the pearls to like cover all her bits. I think that does look very elegant. I think the shoes are great. I think their outfits and their hair and everything is very complete. Great. As per usual, right? They tend to do a great job. Now, Lizzo, um, I am so, I'm sad. I'm sad because I think she looks fire. For instance, the picture where she was she eating a French fry in the kitchen in her like look, I think that looks incredible because the lighting is dimmer and you can't see the pearls as well when you actually look at her outfit like regular like on the red carpet I just I don't like it like I really like it I really love the design I think it's incredible I just don't understand why those pearls look like these pearls these cheap shitty costume jewelry pearls from Amazon for like a couple bucks is like what her dress is adorned with I don't know maybe I just don't know pearls I just I feel sad I feel sad because I feel like this look is so fire but the pearls they used cheapen it so much I don't know do you what do you think I don't know I just oh it made me sad I was like why you do my girl Lizzo like that why you do her like that oh and going back to the men Diddy where Diddy looked fire love that the coat oh fantastic Diddy looked fire um Jeremy Pope looked fire this long like Oh my God, the coat thing. I mean, it is the face of Carl Lagerfeld. <laughs> I just realized that it's the face. That's the face of Carl Lagerfeld. I don't know if I like that so much, but that's pretty dope. Like, that was cool looking. Um, Alton Mason, I mean, very much giving like, I don't know, I feel like that's giving very much Lil Nas X vibes. I feel like he, could, I, he would totally be wearing something like that. I really enjoy that. That is campy, it's incredible. Robert Pattinson, honey, sweet child, what are you doing? <laughs> he looks like he's straight out of the twilight, right? Um, I hate it. Oh, it's awful. The hair's awful. The brooch isn't bad. The jacket's awful. The shoes are okay. I don't know. It's like it's so close. It's so close, but like horrible. <laughs> Like, if it was just, like, the shoes were a little bit more toned down, but the pants were a little bit more toned up, and the jacket was a little bit more fitted, and his hair was styled different, like, he was almost there, but that ain't it. That ain't it. Pedro Pascal, sweetie. I love this. I don't know why. Maybe just because Pedro Pascal, and he just owns it. He just owns it. He owns it. He's like, this is who I am. This is my life. This is what I look like. This is epic. This is what we're doing. He seems like, I don't even know the man, but he seems like a fun guy. Did you ever see him on Hot Ones? That episode was great. 
I love the shorts with the long jacket, the shoes, boots, whatever. That matches great. And then when he shows the little leg of the short, uh, it's incredible. This is very well done. Very much loved Pedro's look. That was incredible. Emma Chamberlain, that's what made me sad too. I don't understand because I was watching, because I went to go Google her look because I saw um, her Vogue thing when she was like talking like <laughs> the Jack Harlow. <laughs> she wearing Jack Harlow. Harlow, that was so funny. Anyways, her Vogue look when she was doing an interview of the red carpet. It, awesome. I loved it. It was subtle. It was understated, but she was doing like interview stuff. So like, I didn't mind it. It was like this black, uh, you know, suit dress thing that had like, but it was like crap, had like a midriff thing. She looks great. Incredible. Um, this blue thing, horrible. It makes her look so old. Like I'm not an ageist. Like I don't really care, but she should like on her, it, it just didn't look right. Like I don't know, I guess it was trying to give vibes of like, you know, Upper East Side, like Gossip Girl, like, you know, um, what's her name, Blair, like Blair from Gossip Girl vibes. It, it's, it didn't work, it didn't work. I don't know what the middle thing is. The blue is, it. it's a weird hue. The top doesn't fit her right. I don't know, it's not great. Now the socks and the, the socks and the heels, honey. That was a beautiful addition to this outfit, but the rest can go, okay? The rest can go. Great. Love that. Dua Lipa, I don't understand this. It's gorgeous. Dress is gorgeous. Um, necklace is gorgeous. But it's, like, where's the rest of it, right? Like, where the hell's the rest? Where's the rest of it? Where the hell is it? Like, it literally looks like when you, it's like she went to go try on a dress and then I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy that dress and accessorize it and fix it up and do all this stuff. Hold on, there's a gigantic truck driving past me right now. I don't know if that's messing up the sound at all. But like, her hair is just like, there should, if you're gonna wear it down, like at least have like a, like a clip or like a something, like you don't need a jacket, but maybe like a, I don't know, it's just missing something. It feels incomplete. I feel like my OCD feels like wear the rest. Like you forgot the rest of your clothes at the hotel when you came. Is it in the limo? Is your jacket in the limo, sweetie? Like what is going on? Okay. I mean, she looks fire though. Um, Penelope Cruz, fire. Love this. I don't really get it from Met Gala. It's adorable. She always is hot as hell. Um, I don't hate it. Don't love it. Just kind of he neither here nor there. We already talked about Philly. Oh, Phineas. But let's talk about her brother Phineas real quick. Phineas. Hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate the jacket. It's too big. I understand the point of like an oversized, you know, for like the Luke. They're saying this is a little too oversized. This is a little too generic of a trench coat to be oversized in this look. I don't know, I don't like it. Purse is cute, hate the shoes, doesn't match. I don't know, Sunnies, who do you think you are? <laughs> I feel attacked. Um, I don't know, cause if you're gonna wear sunglasses with it, like they should be more epic. I don't know, I feel like he just like, he looked like he just walked off the street and he was just like, he had a rough night. He found his, he, it's cold outside. He took his friend's coat. He just like walked outside with random accessories that he found in this house that he passed out in and is doing the walk of shame at, you know, 8 a.m. trying to get some McDonald's. I don't know. It's just not, <laughs> it's not for me. Like you gotta do something cooler um, with the sunglasses, especially. Okay, Jennifer Lopez, more like Jennifer, nope. As no pez. Nope. No pez. Okay. It's not great. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Like, I don't even know what I don't like about it. It just is like, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Like, I kind of like this choker piece at the top. I kind of dig the hat. I kind of dig like the bottom half, but this all of it together just kind of looks like, oh, uh, I didn't really have anything to wear. I have this really nice skirt and, oh, here's a piece of fabric. I'm just going to wrap around me, like, but not well. I don't, 
That's a Gen that's a Jennifer Lopez for me. Oh, Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez. Jenny from the block. Okay. Ice Spice. I adorable. Listen, is it phenomenal? No. Is it phenomenal for Ice Spice? Yes. I think this is her first Met Gala. She came out here hot. I love the silhouette on her body. I love the cutouts that you can see through. I think the hair looks great. She's just living living it up, having the time of her life. I think this is great. I think for your first Met Gala, I think this is fantastic. Um, yeah, I don't know. Cute. Love it. And then uh, I think, yes, last but not least, we have Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade. And I think this fucking slays. Oh, my God. Her red with the hair and then Dwayne Wade out here killing it. And they like, it matches, it goes together. This is incredible. So I, I don't know. I feel like overall, I think everybody did a neat job. <laughs> um, It was fun to watch. I think the Jared Leto cat just really got me. I didn't, I don't know. It was funny. I mean, I guess that's kind of the point of it too. If you're a celebrity, right? Like shock value. Um. There weren't a lot of celebrities missing this time, which was sad. We didn't get like a Blake Lively or Taylor Swift or Beyonce. Well, Beyonce hasn't been for a while, I don't think. Lady Gaga. But a lot of them like Lady Gaga's finishing up like um, that movie. Joker. Joker movie or something. I think she's playing Harley Quinn. And then Taylor Swift, I think, is on tour right now. Anyways. Um... So yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Um, tell me your favorites below. Tell me your worst below. If I miss somebody, let me know so I can go check them out. And I have to be so bad. So subscribe and hit that bell notification and I will catch you next time. I love you, bye. Oh, good night kisses, Wally wishes and reminisces. His eyes kissing Wally wish for the full moon above. Oh, I will read up, fashion in love, listening closely, position in my intuition for her nutrition and ambition, nutrition and ambition, get up. Like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up. Like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up. Hey, like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up. Hey, like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning.